Hello, everybody. Romeo. Seriously? Are you serious? Rome. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome in general. It's been a hot, hot minute since I've said those words. Welcome back to my channel. But I'm back and I'm better and I'm with all the tea. A juicy video for you guys. My Morphe Artistry Immersion Vlog. So basically my 4D training, my 4D formal training with Morphe brushes. Yes, I am now a part of the Morphe brushes family. I'm no longer with Charlotte Tilbury. It's a long-winded story. I love my Charlotte family and I always will. If you want to find out like the progression of me getting to this point, all of my setbacks and accomplishments and things that have happened along the way that have pushed me and directed me to the path that I'm on now with Morphe, I highly encourage you to listen to the link I have below in the description box. It's my podcast episode with the Rising Tide podcast. Basically on my episode, I was asked to come on as a guest and be interviewed with Kiara, who is an amazing entrepreneur, who basically talks story with me about the past two years of my career journey, my journey of resiliency, my setbacks, struggles, how I overcame them, and how I ultimately made um, everything that I've always wanted for myself with this new incredible brand finally happen. Um, so I highly encourage you to listen to that if you're interested in where I've been since I've been off YouTube, everything that's happened and um, this whole process. It's a little lengthy, it's almost two hours long, but I promise it's such a good episode. It's very inspirational and motivational. I love listening to it back myself, especially now that I'm on this Morphe journey. I love listening to it to remind myself everything that it took to get to this point and how much I really deserve where I'm at right now. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy watching this Morphe Artistry Immersion Vlog. There's just so much to be said about Morphe. It would take forever to film a video like just about it, but it's such a beautiful, empowering, um, encouraging and supportive brand in the beauty community. I'm so excited to be a part of it and I'm so excited to take you guys on this journey with me opening this brand new store from scratch here in Hawaii on Oahu at Ala Moana. Opening is going to be next month so it's currently September. We're going to have a soft opening and a grand opening next month in October so stay tuned for details and more vlogs and videos about that because there's so many more monumental moments to come that I want to capture them for you guys so I can look back on these memories and so you can share them with me but other than that like comment subscribe turn that notification bell on so you can stay up to date with any new videos that I come out with and this whole little Morphe vlog series to come but yeah enjoy the video guys good morning everybody um, I am getting ready for a very exciting day. It's day one of four day Morphe training. Yes, I said Morphe. I am a Morphe babe now. So I am using the Maybelline Superstay, my ride or die, for my complexion today. I already have eyes done. They said, come with your signature look on for day one. So that's what I'm doing. A nice bronzy golden moment. The lighting is really bad. Right now, um, I'm using my iPhone, so you guys can't really tell, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I am going to do a little vlog today and show you guys parts of training if I'm allowed to, and I can, and I'm just so excited, so stay tuned. Oh, and in case you guys were wondering what lashes I'm wearing today, these are one of my tried and true pairs. I've worn them legit almost 20 times. This is Mimi from Harlow's Dreamhouse. You know the deal. Use code GLOWGETTER to save money on any HDH products. I'll have everything linked down below. You know I got you guys. We made it. We're about to start training at any moment. Here's kind of like my fit for the first day. And I really got to pee. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to get started. Oh, we're good. Good. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. I'm gonna go to the 
Sherry, you're gonna be in my vlog. What we got over here? <laughs> give, give us a swatch. Oh, give us a yeah, swatch. Oh, she's creamy. Yes. It's called MCM. Thank you. Oh, you <laughs> Creamy. She's yes. so creamy. Let's do a bright one. Ooh. Ooh, girl, she's red. Ruby Woohoo. She's <laughs> stain your lips. <laughs> Who's that? We don't know her. Don't know. Yeah, so it's like I use it as like an eyeshadow or liner. It's so creamy. It's so creamy. Like just look at, look how like gold that is. I just wanna, I need like a thing to show you. Oh my god, I'm getting dry. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, I always like more like um, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is such a yeah. Did you guys see the white container? We have the white, but I need that. <laughs> just like the generic one we do. Oh, that's what I would say. So if they come out with a skincare line, it's yeah. over. Uh -huh. What's in store for the rest of the week? Okay, so I just finished day one of Morphe Artist Immersion Training. And all I can say is, wow. This is like such a surreal moment and day that I will never forget. And the rest of this week, I'm sure, is going to be exactly the same. It's just such a relief getting the first day over with. And experiencing all that I did and realizing that wow I'm not gonna have the same pressures as my last job like if I'm not pushing X amount of products like my livelihood doesn't depend on it like it's truly about the customer experience and selling with integrity and like creating a non-drama non-competitive environment where everybody can feel at home artists and customers and clients alike and relief in the sense of you know this is me leaving a very small team that like is family and bffs for me at charlotte which still obviously is but now jumping into a new team full of i want to say there's about like 20 of us and you know morphe it's like it's a beautiful colorful expressive company and my comfort zone on myself personally at least is like you know more neutrals golden tones and vibes and i i knew going into it that a lot of the artists that i would be working with are very you know experienced extravagant colorful artists and that kind of intimidated me and i felt like maybe i wasn't gonna fit in and it's such a relief meeting everybody and day one being a complete that everybody can fit in at morphe customers clients and artists alike it's not about putting you into a particular box or look or style it's really coming through as your most authentic self and shining and showing up as her or him and just like owning it like and that's what makes you a part of Morphe, being true to you, not having a certain look or having the ability to do a cut crease or this and that. And I'm just so excited for the rest of the week and everything else that I'm going to learn. Meeting the team has been amazing. Great vibes from everybody. And trainer Tim, absolutely amazing so down to earth and relatable and made the entire day super interactive and fun so i can't wait for tomorrow i'm stoking on the three gorgeous palettes that i got he said come back tomorrow with the morphe bag they gave us empty so i can't wait to see what we get tomorrow anyways i just wanted to let you guys know how day one ended and stay tuned for the rest of the week morning everybody so it is about almost 7 a.m i am getting for morphe training day two it's actually technically called morphe artist immersion and day one was amazing i'm so excited for today today we are supposed to come with just a primed look so more of like a natural glam we're going to be focusing on complexion today which is exciting because i literally do not know much or am savvy with morphe foundation shades and color 
concealer. Um, I did get to try them out a little bit when we had our interview audition and makeup demos, but that was like nerve wracking because I had never tried them before and I had to put them on my model. Um, but from what I had tried, she's full coverage, honey. I can't wait to get like the shade range down so I can you know know that off the top of my head when i'm recommending shades and swatching for clients in the future but yeah super excited for today and i will keep you guys in the loop about everything we're doing later when i get there i zoom to show you guys my fit of the day casual comfy and cute what you got in the background anyways i need to head out now so i'm not late and i will see you guys at training <laughs> She looks good. Jawline. We're gonna let her <laughs> line, we're gonna see what happens. Yeah. That was sexy. Tiny. She's like for real. That brush though. Yeah, girl. Wow. It looks so smooth. Yeah. Like that. Feel good about her. Oh. All right. Next up, we're coming on this side. I don't think you primed for the swatch. Yeah. You don't want to really have point. And I start in the center and work my way up. Hold the mirror up, all the way up. Other arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then I work my way towards the, towards the teardrop. And then work my way outward. I'm bouncing because if you swipe, you will remove. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of like when you use a sponge, same type of technique. And then we're gonna pull her out on this beautiful cheekbone that we have. Yeah. Big different. Mm -hmm. Circular motion. I always go upwards when I do the cir like circles um, for contouring, just because I find that if you go down, you end up pulling the face down. My Morphe sister. Don't mind this fat ass people. Ignore yeah. <laughs> her. We're gonna cover her all over. So which primer is this? This is the modifying one. I forget what it's called. Neutralizer? Neutralizer, yeah. yes. Using this in her T-zone. She said she's oily. T-zone. What brush are we using? We are using the M404. For we love her for skin. Yes. So we are trying to find a match. What shade is this? This is 2110. This is the one that you said you like that looked like you on the on the palette. On the palette, on the pen, yes. It's pulling a little lighter, but I think that's when she also does. But I also like I bronze a lot. Like I okay. love bronzer and highlighter. So far the, the tone though, the undertone It's spot on, I feel it, like it's like I don't even see it. Yeah. That's a hit. Oh my God. <laughs> so so far we like that. So it looks kind of white, but then when we that blend it out, though, so, yeah, and then once it's gonna um, dry down and oxidize, I don't want to stretch your brow. It's okay. So guys, I am 211 in the fluidity foundation, and it feels amazing so far. Like it literally feels like nothing on my skin. Really? Mm-hmm. So day two complete. 
Um, I'm driving right now, that's why I had my glasses on. Well, I'm not driving right now, I'm parked. But anyways, today um, we took off our makeup. We came with a little bit of a prime look. We did fluidity foundation, our concealer, pretty much just to, you know, practice matching each other getting comfortable with our shade range learning the shade range y'all we have 60 colors of foundation so inclusive nobody left behind nobody left out amazing shade range but you can imagine 60 shades is a lot to work with and match and find someone their color with especially like if you don't even know where to start so today was fun in that aspect of getting acquainted with their shade range and their color undertones there's a lot sis there's five different like levels um going from you know light to rich also in each level there's about 12 different shades we've got five different undertones so there's a lot going on um but it was fun and we got to see how it like swatches oxidizes and wears how to apply it with this brush and that brush for this finish also we did concealer too which is full coverage and bomb we've got about if i'm not mistaken 31 concealer shades which is insane that's a lot in itself um but super bomb so that's why i don't really have my full beat on as usual because we just finished up with that other than that i am at anu's construction site right now i'm waiting for him to finish we're gonna ride home together and um little does he know i brought him some snacks so i'm killing time i stopped by 7-eleven got him a spam katsu musubi so i hope he's happy with that i got him some arizona this is the half and half iced tea mango which is bomb and then for myself of course my fave oops my peach snapple tea snapple if you want to sponsor me sponsor your girl um <coughs> and then also my favorite all-time favorite if you guys haven't tried this yet it is literally like crack but better than crack and healthier than crack and not gonna ruin your life like crack but it might make you fat <laughs> unlike crack um but anyways this is the cheetos puffs it's a simply made with white cheddar edition these you guys way better ingredients way healthier and not as toxic to your body as the regular cheetos that have like yellow five and red 40 and all that toxic cancer causing shit so highly recommend these and they taste honestly in my opinion better than the regular cheetos anyways but yeah so i'm gonna get my snack on and um of course we got a morphe bag filled again girl filled so today absolutely living um i love me a good brush a good tool and we got gifted our new babies for in store and out counter we got our brush belts and about over 20 like almost 25 brushes that are ours for our new morphe home this is what i'm going to be beating y'all's faces with and they're just gorgeous i mean you guys know I like Morphe brushes. Even way back when I was filming YouTube videos, I would use Morphe brushes, use Morphe products. Like, I personally believe, like we claim ourselves to be, we really are the brush authority, y'all. We have like 500 brushes, n n no fucking joke. But I'm super excited about this, a new belt that I get to slay everybody with and use. Other than that, we got some more cute gratis in our morphe bag tim was not playing man he hooked us up so we got a morphe this is a mixing palette and spatula every pro artist definitely needs one of these for your kit for sanitary reasons even just using it for your own purposes at home it like if you're not about the mess and don't mind getting your hands dirty and whatnot you should have a palette and then we also got gifted the 8w warm master this is eight shades for the heat of the moment um so basically this is a blush palette which is bomb i think i was looking at this online to buy it for my kit anyways or me personally i can't wait to open it up and see what the colors look like 
I should do that right now, like on camera, right? So we take her out. She's super sleek, easy to keep clean. And ooh, look at these shades. So pretty. So it looks like we've got some like satiny, some mattes. We got the pinky moment, neutral, more vibrant colors. I can't wait to swatch this and use these. And then in addition to that, you know, the gifts just keep on giving and coming in. And I'm not mad about it. We also got gifted a little Morphe sponge. This is the highlight and contour sponge. One of our best sellers and most popular. I actually have used this myself was just like a customer i would buy these like when i would go to morphe in california or in the mainland and i would have people pick me up some of these always a goodie to have and then in addition to that yes there's more can you believe this so yes we received a new brush belt for using at counter on our clients but they also gifted us all these brushes for ourselves and our personal use and these brushes are pretty much like the same as um, what's in our belt just not as many but girl this still is a lot of brushes to be giving me as gratis I'm so excited and you guys I actually already have a few of these like this is my main B I love her M213 M213 smudger brush this is what she looks like here so I use this to like clean up under my brow. I use it for like a cut crease moment, defining, bottom, lash line. You can never go wrong with also, this is the M503 Pro Firming Blending Brush. I have this as well. It's kind of like um, your necessity. Um, and then everything else is gonna be new for me trying out. So I'm excited about that. I'll, I'll get more into the brushes for you guys later but that's today's gratis like i'm just seriously blown away if this is just day two i don't even know <laughs> what could be coming tomorrow for day three and day four i'm just like still in awe that i'm a part of this amazing incredible innovative company and i'm just truly living my best life right now like clear clearly and then she has her thousand favorites, so I tried out the one. Gorgeous. What's her favorite? So it was like the soft and gentle, like, sister. And then bring her down wasn't as crazy as I thought. We need more. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna go down the bridge of the nose. Yes, no. <laughs> it's happening. Ooh. Was that donut? <laughs> donut. Uh, okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Wow. sister Dara and we are using our contour and highlight palette to play around today and learn face shape and definition so it's day three of Morphe artistry immersion this is my cute fit of the day and I literally have barely any makeup on. We just play with complexion. I think we're gonna do eyes and lip next. Today's more artistry, so we came with a prime look. And um, break's almost over, so I'm excited. I think we're jumping into eyes next. From the tail, I'm gonna just connect to her eyelid. Again, I'm not worried about the space in between. I'm just trying to make a line consistently to her eye. So, um, my pinky is an anchor. Um, usually I'll like place that right on, and my hands are really cold, I'm sorry. I'll place that right on the cheek. That is what keeps my hand from like going crazy. Um, I also learned that if you do this, it works really well too. We will not be doing the claw in wow. store. Wow. Right. The claw I mean like, <laughs> So, we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna do a little connection to her eye. So now you see there's a bunch of negative space that happens, but you can kind of start to see. Also, once you do this, a lot. Yeah. 
Morphe right now, we need a campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Collapse. Switching brushes, this one's gonna look fine, but I think we need this one now. This one is slightly more fussy, different shape. I'm gonna cut your contour a little bit. completely barefaced because today is day four of our Morphe Artistry Immersion Training, which is our certification training, our artistry certification, not the legit certification today, but just training us for what we can look forward to. With you guys off. Now remember, there's some non-negotiables that in any Absolutely bananas when these doors open and they are so lucky to have every single one of you in store I'm so excited to have been a part of this and be able to meet every single one of you. There's gonna be amazing things happening Come on Gratis Like are you kidding me right now? I have never ever worked for such a generous brand in my life and this is all within four days of our Morphe artistry immersion training which is insane. So to go over what we got, we got our tote here, our blender rose Morphe tote. We got 
our brush belts and our new babies to slay with in store. This is strictly just our in-store brush belt. We got gifted all of these beautiful brushes for ourselves to slay with, to come to work and get beat at home with. And then of course we got gifted the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I actually already have, um, but I'm retiring her for my kit and this is going to be my brand new baby for myself. And then we also got um, a nice neutral moment palette, our 350 Nature Glow, a must have. I think I already have one of these, like the OG version with our old packaging and before the rebranding. And then we got a Glamour Bronze Morphe Bronzer. This is highly highly requested by a lot of people it sold out multiple times and it might be limited right now i'm not 100 percent sure but we got it in mega star it's a little bit on the warmer side which is so right up my alley we got gifted some eye candy um eye glitter and glue i got butterscotch and taffy and then we also got here um this is the 35h hotspot we got a little color pop moment going on which i love this is a beautiful color scheme and then we also got some fun lippies. I got Hot Shot. This is a liquid lip, one of their best sellers. I got a lip crayon in MCM, Man Crush Monday. And then TTFN, talk to you for now, I think. Talk to you for now, something like that. Anyways, those are lip crayons. I got the highlighter in Extra, which is gorgeous. It's like a golden -y champagne, which was so up my alley. And then we also got some lipsticks, a matte. In honey which I adore this is gonna be like my new nude and then I also got Morphe which is their signature red and I'm just in awe I cannot wait to start playing with all of these new goodies and I'm gonna have to get a whole new makeup storage situation because this is just not gonna be enough room for everything else that's to come as well it was such an incredible week with Morphe and our trainer Tim. I learned so much. We got so much bomb gratis and it just really built even more excitement for me about what's to come with my whole journey and this brand. I'm super excited to be a manager, to build a store from the bottom up, like every single piece and to just share the empowerment of Morphe with all of our clients and customers and also my team members. So if you guys wanna see more Morphe vlogs from me along this journey that I'm about to go on, definitely make sure that you like this video, comment down below, share it and let me know your thoughts. Um, the next video I can probably film for you guys is piecing together our store. We're about to unload and stock up the store like literally piece by piece. So I thought that'd be a cool behind the scenes if you guys wanna, you know, get the 411 on ground up because it's literally our baby that we're starting from scratch on. And then the next video I could probably film after that is maybe a soft opening video and then of course grand opening video. So let me know in the comments below what you're most excited about to see and I'll make sure to film it and post it for you guys. Take care.